Hello, this is Sartre, or Brian Rowe, doing a video on five essential chess books and how to start a chess library. One of the absolute first things that I do with any chess student is encourage them to start reading about chess. This is one of the best ways to improve your game is by learning from other masters, from stronger players. There's a beautiful body of literature in chess and there's just some wonderful books. In starting a chess library, I recommend that you look at several different factors in starting it. Look for books that are going to be fun and interesting. You don't want them all to be boring. Look for books that are practical, that are going to help your game. Look for at least one book that is a wonderful game collection with very strong commentary. Look for at least one book that gives you infinite tactics that you can always just sit down and do a few tactical problems. If you get in the habit of doing tactical problems every day, your ability in chess will increase greatly. And then look for an end game book that doesn't just give you positions, but explains them, uses logic to show you what's going on and help you get better at end games. In this particular list of different books, you'll notice there is no books here on openings. I don't actually recommend studying openings generally until you get to a higher level. And then I only really recommend it from a pawn structure and strategic perspective, unless you really want to pick up one or two pet lines that require you to research that particular opening. That is one of the biggest mistakes that people make in putting together a chess library is they buy 10 or 20 different books on their favorite chess opening, but they continually get crushed once they get outside of the book lines, once they're out of those memorized traps. Getting better at chess is about learning about the game, learning the strategic and fundamental ideas that are involved. And this was a really tough one to decide exactly what to put in this list. The first one that I'm strongly recommending is chess. 5,334 Problems, Combination, and Games by Laszlo Polgar. This is an awesome book. I have several copies of it. Recommend it to every student. Progressively, these problems get more difficult. There is a beautiful hardbound edition that is giant. It's not the most uh, high-quality printing. It's literally... Before the softbound version came out, I used to carry this around in my car when I was studying when I was younger. It's just a great book. Infinite problems. Problems get more difficult. And it has a game collection in the back. It has some combinations in the back after the checkmate problems. Strongly recommend this book. Next one here is Silman's Complete Endgame Course. I've been reading Silman for many, many years. One of my first chess instructors recommended I pick up his books. One of my first favorite early books was Essential Chess Endings Explained Move by Move. It was this little low quality printed pink edition and it was so useful. It was amazing. What Silman has done is taken that book and over tripled the amount of content in it improved the printing significantly, and made it one giant volume. When learning basic endgames, this is the book that anyone from just learning how the pieces move on up to master should work through and make sure that they understand all of the positions involved. You will increase your ability in the game significantly. Silman is an amazing writer. He puts things in plain English that makes it simple, easy, for anybody to understand. Lines don't just end in plus this side. They explain move by move how you get from that position to another position that you already know that you conquered earlier in the book. Wonderful, wonderful book. It has exercises in it also so that you can practice the content that he's talking about. A game collection with a really powerful Grandmaster navigating you through those games is wonderful. The first game collection that I ever picked up is the one that I'm recommending here. It's David Bromstein's Zurich International Tournament 1953. 
this has incredible games in it. When I picked it up, looking at it on the shelf originally, I was like, wow, this is really bad printing. That purple version has some of the worst typesetting, but a lot of early chess books did. I hear there's a new version, although when I go to Amazon and try to look inside the book, it actually moves me to the old version. I hope that the new printing is easier to look at. But the commentary is what makes this book. This is an incredibly strong chess tournament, wonderful games in it, and you can learn a lot about basic positional and endgame ideas by reading through the games in this classic tournament that has some of the strongest players in the world. Amazing games in here. Many of the participants in this tournament came across to me as future chess heroes for me as I dove in and learned more about their individual games. A game collection explained by the Grandmaster who played those games gives you wonderful insight into those games. My 60 Memorable Games by Bobby Fischer is one of the best game collections out there. There's other wonderful game collections. I've got another one in the uh, honorable mentions here, but this is the first one that I started with, and there are interesting games explained in a very, very clear way. It is a little bit more of an advanced book. It helps to have a strong foundation in tactics to understand what's going on in some of the positions. Uh, Bobby Fisher has another book um, that I actually also recommend just because it's readily available is Bobby Fisher Teaches Chess, although the current printing is this really small version. Uh, the original Xerox or large printing is much easier to follow, and it's a great first book for someone who just wants something to carry around and make sure that they learn the basics of tactics. Strongly recommend my 60 memorable games as a wonderful game collection. There's a very affordable version out there that's about 10 to $20 in paperback right now. And the original first edition is about $100, $150. It, that would be a beautiful one to have on your bookshelf. The last one that I've got here is really the historical volume that Kasparov has put out looking at all of the past world champions. It's a five-part series. I have this series sitting on my bookshelf at work so that I can grab it for lunch, go to a coffee shop, play through a game, read the commentary. It is well-written, well-analyzed, wonderful, wonderful series. Greatly enjoy this set of books. Nice, hardbound editions were printed. Definitely recommend checking these out. What one book would you add to this list? Would you recommend that other individuals pick up in order to start creating a library of their own? They learn from, they share, and that they use to get better at chess. Here's a few of the honorable mentions for me. These are ones that almost made the list. Art of Attack in Chess, older book, but has some wonderful ideas in it. Silman's How to Reassess Your Chess. It's a little more of an advanced book. Uh, Yasser Sarawan also did some wonderful books, a series that was originally printed by Microsoft on this similar vein. Play Winning Chess and Winning Chess Strategies are both nice intros before you get to How to Reassess Your Chess. The Sorcerer's Apprentice. This is an overlooked book. David Bronstein is a great writer. This book is so much fun. It has interesting positions, and some history in it. And The Life and Games of Mikhail Tall, another wonderful book, Tall's commentary on amazing games. If you'd like more suggestions, check out Silman's Best Chess Books Ever, where he talks to several different IMs, grandmasters, chess teachers, about what books they would recommend. There's a great list in there from Sarawan, Silman's own list is in there, John Watson's list, among several others. Great place to go find some wonderful books to put into a chess library and start to study. Thank you to everybody who is out there supporting the channel, and thank you to chess.com. If you want to play me at chess, 
findmeatchess.com or hit me up here in the Seattle area. My username is Sartorus. Until next time, choose your moves wisely.